Wake up, wake up. East St. Louis <laughs> and it's time to head back to the classroom. Today is the first day of school in East St. Louis District 189. Gotta wonder how many kids are kicking and screaming right now. No, no I don't want to go. <laughs> Our Cindy Stallworth is live for us outside East St. Louis Senior High School with how they're gearing up to welcome the students back. Sydney. Oh, Rennie, Michelle, Rennie, no kicking and screaming here this morning. These kids got up early to come hang out with us, and we're so, so grateful. Now, the hallways are empty right now, but that's definitely going to change in a couple of minutes, actually. But there are some students who have been here uh, over the summer already learning, so this is nothing new to them. The AP students here at East St. Louis High School have been working hard. Let's bring in Heather Duncan, uh, one of the AP teachers here. Can you tell me a little bit about why it's so important to have the AP program here at East St. Louis? Well, advanced placement allows for the students to have college level rigorous courses right. already. That means that they don't have to spend as much for each um, college course whenever they do become college students. Yeah, Sorry, so you need to be closer. <laughs> <laughs> Your students are, yeah, you guys look so excited today. And they've been working hard over the summer, that's right? Correct. We do AP boot camp where they come in two weeks. Um, at the beginning of August mm -hmm. and they freely spend their time working on different skills and techniques that'll help them in the course. Now last year you guys implemented a change, right? Can you tell me about that change and how's it been going over the past year, the first year in effect? Um, last year we added a program called AP Capstone, which is actually two courses, um, AP Seminar and AP Research. So um, AP Seminar, the kids killed it. Like they were amazing. It is extremely difficult, very rigorous, lots of college level writing and presentations. And this year will be the first class for AP Research where they're actually gonna be writing like a 20 page dissertation and defending it at the end of the year. Wow. So I can't say they're excited, <laughs> but they are capable of doing anything they put their minds to. 20 pages, you guys excited about that? I don't know. We're excited. Okay, we have yeah. Camille and Denia. Camille and Denia are both freshmen in the AP program. You guys have been here over the summer working hard, two weeks before everybody else. How'd the summer go? It was something. It was <laughs> something that was different to me and I enjoyed it. Yes, what about you, Denia? Um, I thought I wouldn't like it at first because I thought it was gonna be a lot of work, but I actually enjoyed it a lot because I got to learn a lot of new things. Wow, and you guys are going into your first year of high school. You got a head start with these this AP boot camp over the summer. What are you hoping for uh, with these AP classes going into this year? Um, since I've learned to take notes better, mm -hmm. and that I feel like that would help me since it was fast paced. I can take notes faster when the teacher was talking faster. Um, for me, I'm, I'm excited for the college to look at my um, credits and stuff to see that I have honors classes so they can like want to recruit me more mm -hmm. than someone who just has regular classes because I have a higher GPA. Wonderful. College bound. Thank you, Camille and Denia. I appreciate it. Like I said, the hallway's empty right now, but you could see students lining up, getting ready to come into school right now. Classes start at 730. Doors are opening up. Guys, I'll send it back to you. All right, Sydney. Knowledge is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. And this morning, the Illinois Teacher of the Year will be welcoming her students back into the classroom. Brianna Morales was one of 13 teachers nominated for Teacher of the Year last year. She teaches high school English at Gordon Bush Alternative Center in East St. Louis. I remember when she got that. So cool. <laughs> and East St. Louis isn't the only district going back to the class this morning. Students at Kip Charter Schools in St. Louis are also getting ready for their first day back. We hope everyone there, of course, has a has a great first day. And then don't forget, don't forget to send your first day of school photos. You can head over to the Five on Your Side app and look for the orange box that says back to school to submit your photos.